friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on January 27th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, where we have a look at space weather, world weather, and as well, earthquakes and volcanoes. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, lots of plasma erecting from both, or sorry, all four corners of our sun today. As well, two incoming sunspots and departing coronal hole. Looking last 48 hours incoming. You can see those sunspots on the right-hand side coming in. One of them's been pretty active already. You can see firing away. As well, plasma filaments erecting from the surface of our sun. Pretty large ones at that, especially in the outgoing position. Looking at outgoing here. On the left side, you can see the large plasma lifting up. And as well, on the right-hand side, no space weather events have been thwarted our way. But we did have a backside flare. Another close look at the incoming sunspots. Developing. Active. And getting ready for an Earth-facing position. These images brought to you by Sol Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking here at multi-spectrum, you can see all of the events and as well coronal holes, dark -er regions. Another 171 angstroms here. And as you can see, that coronal hole has diminished and there are no more coronal holes developing. Looking at ISWA, as you can see, backside solar flare right at the Parker Solar Probe, again, yet again, the Parker Solar Probe event should be expecting some amazing pictures coming from Parker Solar Probe the next time it comes around. Looking here, real-time solar wind as we are up over 530 kilometers per second, and that is due to the coronal hole wind stream. And we were bottomed out to 300 Hovering around 400 just recently now, we are at a KP of 4, slightly elevated, and solar x-ray flux remains in a B-class range. Looking at just how the space weather is affecting our planet and how it is holding out from the pressure of the solar winds, we have seen an uptick in seismicity across the planet, 140 earthquakes across California State. Looking at Schumann Resonance for today, a power of 6. It's been a pretty healthy and normal uh, resonance for a few days now. So amplitude of 6, quality of 6.6. .6. Hmm. Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. And we're going to start out here with the largest. The last 24 hours, a 6.2 Tonga region. Very active submarine volcanic region. As we know, the Tonga erupted on the 15th. And there are a couple more that are awakening through the region. Looking at pretty deep earthquakes last night. So we were expecting a large one. And a large one did come with the 6.2 in Tonga. So deepest the last 24 hours was 632 kilometer depth. Largest, it's a 6.2. Activity here, 5.2 Papua New Guinea. As well, activity through Indonesia. Northern Indonesia, Tobilo. Philippines, and Aku Kawula, Indonesia, as well a 5.6 here reported yesterday, Bellany Islands region, carrying on here, let end up into Japan, Kaya, Japan, a 4.1, and as well a 4.5 yesterday, very quiet, too quiet through Japan, as well, Jingchang, China, 4.3 reported. Pretty rare earthquake here in Spain. Fistera, Spain, 3.9, 10 kilometer depth. And as well, a 4.6 here in Nanartelic, Greenland, at a 10 kilometer depth. Subscriber in the live stream noting that he felt that one. And a rare earthquake here, Lake Line, Ohio, a 2.5. There's been a few of those recently through Ohio. Interesting. Minor earthquake there through Texas. 
Getting to the California coastline here, Grapevine, California, 3.5 largest in North America today, except for Alaska, of course. Minor activity up into Ferndale, Petrolia, California. And then we get to Alaska and the Rat Islands. We've got an earthquake swarm happening right around the Davidoff volcano, in which I had posted earlier today with the volcanic activity report. It has been raised to another alert level. Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands, earthquake swarm going on. Minor activity through Hawaii. Not much has changed through the caldera today. Central America, Costa Rica, 4.3 and as well, 4.3 there. Guatemala, 4.5. Haiti, yet again. And minor activity through Dominican Republic. And one lonely earthquake here, 4.5, and that was yesterday through South America. So heads up, South America, we could see something large here in the next 24 hours. Still expecting something a little bit bigger than that 6.2. Having a look here in the last seven days across the planet, our planet is a rumbling. And I, in my mind, it is way too quiet. North America, way too quiet. Central regions and as well South America. Waiting for a big one. Hope you are ready. Stay aware, prepared, and just have a plan. Be ready. Notable earthquake there, middle of Africa. That was reported yesterday. And as well, notable increased region, Tonga and Alaska. Let's get to Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, Posting the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Nevadas de Ruz in Colombia. Sangue in Ecuador. Nevadas de Chile in Colombia. Sabancaya in Peru. Many storms across the United States and Indonesia. Reventador in Ecuador. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. And that's it for today. But Fuego, Guatemala yesterday. Very active the last few days. Fuego as well as Simeru, Indonesia. Quick look at satellite imagery across the world. Big atmospheric moisture line heading through the Atlantic and a big system developing in the North Pacific. Storms right across the Australian continent and up into Java, Indonesia. And Sumatra, storms through there as well. And we have one tropical storm to talk about. And that is Indian, in the Indian Ocean. Batsirai, Tropical Storm Batsirai is alive six hours ago being updated and named. And that is heading straight west towards Port Louis and as well Mauritius. And it's going to dance around here with the forecast. So heads up, small islands off the coast of Madagascar. You do have a major cyclone on its way. Looking here at windy.com showing the wind maps. As you can see, it just kind of dances around. It was originally heading towards Point Lu Port Louis, but now it's going to be heading towards St. Denis. So stay tuned because the forecast could change. A lot of things changing drastically across the planet. As well, we've got that major nor'easter here developing Saturday to Sunday right up the east coast. And that will bring an extreme weather event right across the eastern seaboard up into Canada. And then to Greenland as those systems merge and head into there and move right across the North Atlantic to Europe. So expect that extreme weather event and large system to go from our coast to Europe in the next seven days. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Daily Events Worldwide and Media Earth. Looking here, home base Ontario as we have a, an extreme cold warning heading in for tomorrow morning. It's going to be minus 26, minus 32 with the wind chill. And we've got this big system racing up the eastern seaboard. That is the major player this week for North America. Big nor'easter. And it probably it's probably going to drop a couple feet of snow pretty much from North Carolina and northward to the Atlantic provinces. Overlooking the west coast... Calgary, your Chinook days are over. You do have a lot of cold air and as well, 
a small snowstorm coming because your ground is brown and I'm watching from satellite imagery. There's no snow around you. That's all about to change. Minus 22 high pressure ridge heading into your region. Long range forecast. Very cold temperatures stretching all the way down to Mexico. Wow. Big changes across the planet. Hope you are ready and you are getting notified of all videos from Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Overlooking the Atlantic, big lower level, low pressure system there, trapped. As well, we've got a big system heading into Eastern Europe. It's going to bring snow and cold. And then we've got another low whipping down over the United Kingdom. And another low developing here through the Mediterranean going to bring snow to Greece and as well Turkey and eastward into Qatar, northern Iraq and Iran, higher elevation snows, overlooking Russia and Asia, dry high pressure ridge locked over Russia, not many systems to talk about, low pressure system, system coming out of South China Sea will be a big one here joining forces with the rest of the lows in the Pacific here for a very big low. And that's what these systems keep doing now, merging with the larger, deeper, lower level troughs. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia, daily evaporation rains throughout the week could be pretty heavy through Papua New Guinea. And as well, West Indonesia. Overlooking Australia, next five days, it's going to be very wet. You still have this intense low pressure system across the Northern Territory, stretching waves of moisture across the continent. You could see some pretty extreme weather Monday into Tuesday. As well, tropical, possible tropical system there developing over New Caledonia. Overlooking Hawaii, no major weather systems heading your way. Encroaching low there off the west coast of North America, keeping an eye on that. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains could be heavy along the Brazil-Argentina border. Atmospheric line of moisture coming out of there. And this low pressure system has been trapped for days just spinning around the continent. Same thing over Africa low pressure system which was a cyclone when it hit, made landfall looks like it will be scooting away Monday into Tuesday through South Africa other than that no major weather events for Africa quick look here at the forecast for tropical cyclone Bitsarai and it doesn't quite in the five day forecast make it to the islands so stay tuned tomorrow we will give a full weather update on where that cyclone is going. Gonna leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the major lows that are spinning across our planet. I wanna give a big shout out to everybody for following along with daily events worldwide. We're almost 50,000 strong. Keep sharing and keep caring. Much love and prayers for humanity during these times. It's all about being aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here, do crew. Much love to you. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.